Alright guys, welcome to your 7th FL Studio tutorial and in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add your own custom notes and by that I mean we're no longer limited to just the sounds that came with the software we can make our own custom notes just like we would on an instrument so with that being said before I do that I just want to teach you guys one quick thing and that's how to replace um, songs or excuse me how to replace sounds in your pattern so basically say that you got this pattern created and you're playing it rock me baby rock me baby alright so it sounds pretty good but then you decide you know what rock me baby sounds a little bit creepy so I want to change that to a new vocal but I don't want to change the pattern I want it to play once I want it to play in the same exact spot is there a way that I can just replace this without having to reprogram the entire pattern again and the answer is yes so the easiest way to do this, and we'll say that we're just going to replace the vocal in this pattern, keep things simple, is go to a new vocal and scroll down to... We need a beat. And we push it. All Spin right. it again. What time is it? All right, I'll go with we need a beat one. We need a beat. So now what we can do is we can actually grab we need this a beat. and drag it up to the pattern. Now if I dropped it right here, then it's going to make a completely new blank channel. But I want to replace it right here, so hover over it, and you know when you're hovered over it because it turns orange, and just go ahead and drop. So now if we play it, we need a beat. We need a beat. And how awesome is that? You don't have to reprogram anything, and that is a very simple way of how you can change pretty much the sound on the same channel. So we'll go ahead and keep that we need a beat. I would like to introduce. All right, that one was pretty dumb. Go back to pattern one. So now, as promised, now I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add your own custom, pretty much your own custom notes or own custom sounds, not from here. So let's go ahead and open up an instrument, and we do that by going up to channel, add one, and there's a bunch of different options here, but one of the most common ones is 3x os, and this basically means three times oscillator, or you're pretty much creating your own custom sound wave so a very basic note so let me go ahead and drag this over there so it's a little bit easier and as you notice whenever you do this obviously since we put channel add one it adds a new channel however this channel is our own custom sound it's not a pre-built sound so the first thing that we can do is we notice that if we click the keyboard we can get a preview of the default sound all right pretty simple but now we have to figure out what all this crap means and it's actually really simple once I explain it real quick so the first thing I want to point out is that what we're doing is we're pretty much creating an own custom sound wave now this right here is actually built up of three different sound waves to give us our final sound oscillator one oscillator two and oscillator three and when I say oscillator I pretty much mean sound wave one sound wave two and sound wave three now each of these sound waves is one octave under the other so oscillator one is this your default one and oscillator two one octave under or lower should I say and oscillator three another octave lower so right now this entire sound is made up of three different waves so the first thing I want to show you guys is all of these buttons right here so basically the different shapes of waves make different kinds of sounds hold on a second I don't know if I all right I just I didn't know if I messed up my screen recorder but anyways what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually mute every oscillator except one so I can talk to you guys about these different waves so right now Oscillator 2 has 50% volume, so if you go ahead and hover over this and drag down, you're going to turn that all the way down to zero, and also hover over this and drag it down. So now whenever we're playing this note, we can only hear the first sound wave. And this is uh, just to demonstrate these different shapes of waves. So now, by default, we got this, you know, kind of curvy one. This one right here... Alright, sounds like a computer game. Alright, that sounds horrible. And this is just a random wave which should produce static. So I'm going to stick with the default one. And typically, you want something like this. And 
another side note before I uh, get to you know in depth with the tutorial you know how I want to test out these different waves so I clicked one and then I had moved my mouse here to play it click this play it well instead of moving your mouse all the way back and forth what you can do is you can actually just play the notes on your keyboard and in order to do that go up to this button right here and you see whenever you hover over it it says typing keyboard on piano keyboard which pretty much means um, whenever you press a button on your keyboard and I mean the one that you just type on to you know look at the look at websites and crap press uh, let's say press the button Z on your keyboard so here's my mouse right here and I'm pressing Z and as you go from left to right Z X C V B and so on and so forth so actually if we press it's actually the less than button with a comma under it that's gonna give us our C5 so again make sure this is selected and then you can now use your keyboard instead of your clicking it with a mouse and then you know it'll save you a little bit of time but you know our time is valuable so whatever alright now I want to talk to you guys about the rest of this crap real quick and actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the rest of this crap in the next tutorial because I don't want this tutorial to be like 15 minutes long. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.